A funnel chart is a specialized chart type that demonstrates the flow of measure values through a process. It can be a sales process or any other business process. In this video, we are going to learn two simple ways with which we can create a funnel chart in Tableau. So without any further delays, let's get started. Welcome back, this is Gurpreet from Dataverse Canvas and in today's tutorial, we are going to learn about two simple ways with which we can create a funnel chart in Tableau. Before we jump into hands-on practice on how to create a funnel chart in Tableau, let's first understand what is a funnel chart. Well, funnel chart is a specialized chart type that demonstrates the flow of stages in the form of measure values through a process. It can be any business process, but mainly it is used for sales process. And as the name suggests, it's a funnel chart. So it's in the form of a funnel where the start of the funnel chart is from the top headband and it ends at a narrow neck. And each band shows the aggregated value of the measure at each dimension values and are indicated from the funnel width as it narrows down. So as you can see at the top, we have a standard class ship mode, which percentage is 59.12. And as we go down, we can see how the percentage is decreasing and we can see the different stages of ship mode is decreasing as we go down the hierarchy. So that's what is a funnel chart. Now the question is why we should use funnel chart. Well, funnel chart are a type of chart often used to represent the stages in the sales process as I mentioned earlier, but it can be used with any other process as well, where we can show the amount of potential revenue for each stage in sales process, or we can also show the amount of potential revenue of any other stage in the business. So this type of chart is also used in identifying the potential problem areas in an organization, sales process, or any other process, where you can see each band is representing a particular value, measure value through the process or through that stage, right? So if there is any variation in these values in different stages, you can pick up there might be a potential problem in a particular band or particular area. So this chart is really useful when we are trying to represent the stages in a process. So that's about what and why we need to use these funnel charts. So now let's see how we can create this chart in Tableau. So first of all, I have connected to Sample Superstore dataset. And we have all of these values on the left hand side. So let's create first sheet and I will give it a name as funnel chart type one, right? So in this case, first of all, we will bring the ship mode to the row shelf and we will bring the sales value to the color shelf. And you will see here, the sum of sale is created in this form, right? But right now I want it the other way. So I will bring the ship mode to the color shelf and I will bring the sales value to the row shelf. And you will see there are four band created in a bar chart, so kind of a stacked bar chart, right? And I will change the order, the sorting into the descending order. And we can see four different colors. Now I want to create a funnel and I want to change the size of each of these ship mode. So how we can do that? So we can simply bring the sales value to the size mark. And you will see there are four different sizes for each of these ship mode based on the sales value. So let's change the view to the entire view. And you will see it's kind of a funnel created in the form of a column chart or a bar chart. And now you can add the text and the values the way you want it. So let's bring sales value to the label and let's bring sales mode to the label as well. And you will see the value started to appear here. Now let's do a bit of formatting. So let's go to labels and I want the ship mode and sum of sales, right? And I will increase the ship mode size a little bit bigger, 14 let's say, and press okay. And I would like to change, instead of sum of sales, I want to show the percentage, which you can do by using 
quick table calculation by clicking on the drop down of the text sales value. Then go to quick table calculation and select percentage of total. And you can see here it will show you 59.12% is referred to standard class. The sales is contributed by the standard class and 19% by second class, 15% by first class, and 5.59% by the same class. So that way you can create a first type of funnel chart and you can do a bit more formatting if you don't need these columns and the background grid. So you can simply go here and you can check the values and you can make sure that there are no grid lines. So there are grid lines in the column. We don't need that. We can hide the headers and we can hide the funnel chart. And here you go, you can see the funnel chart, first type of funnel chart. Now let's move on to our second type of funnel chart. So let's create a new sheet and I will give the name funnel chart two. And in this case, I will bring the ship mode to the row shelf and I will bring the sales value as well and I will create a bar chart first. And I want the bar chart in the descending order, so I will use it this way. So you can see the bar chart is created in the descending order based on the sales value, sum of sales value. Now let's change the mark from automatic to area. And you will see the area chart is created for all these ship modes. Now the simple way is, let's, let's make it to entire screen as well. And you will see it this way. Now you can either create a new calculated field or you can simply duplicate the sum of sales field by pressing, selecting this pill and selecting command on Mac or control on Windows and drag it and bring it here. So there will be two duplicate charts created. And now I want to create it as a funnel chart. So I will simply go into this pill. You can double click it or you can go and edit it here and simply put minus sign in the beginning. And once we do that, you will see it's created like this, but now it's sorted in the other order, reversed order, it's upside down. So we will go to ship mode and we will go to sort. And in this section, we will do it descending and instead of negative sum of sales, we need to select simple sum of sales and you will see the chart is reversed in the form of funnel chart. On the top, it's the bigger band and as we go down, the band decreases. And again, you can do the formatting by bringing ship mode to label and by bringing sales to label as well. And you can see here, the labels are created on both the sides, but we don't want it this way, right? So what we can do, we can go to these pills and we can, let's say in this case, we just want the ship mode. We don't want some of sales, so I will remove that here. And in the other pill, we other section of this sum of sales, we don't want ship modes. I will remove that from there. And you can see standard class, this much of the sales, right? And here again, I want to show percentage of total. So I will go to table calculation and select percentage of total, and you can see it here. And you can do the bit of formatting, increase the size if you want, and you can do it this way. And the other interesting thing is, here you are unable to change the color of the band. So what I mean by that is if you go to the color shelf here, and let's say I want to change the color, you can change the color vertically of right or left side, but not individual bands. So it is sometimes really hard to understand different stages, right? Which we talked about earlier. So I want to show standard class in different colors, then the second class section from here to here in different colors, and then the first class from here to same day in different color. So for that, we need to add a few more calculation in this case. So let me show you how we can do that. So let's go to new worksheet. And here I have created few calculations, like step one, step two, step three, and step four calculations. So let's see what these calculation means. So in these calculation, I'm simply saying if attribute ship mode is equal to standard class, or look up for the ship mode, previous ship mode value. So minus one is showing the previous value. We are looking up for the previous ship mode value. If that previous ship mode value is standard class as well, then give me sum of sales. So what it does is, if we go to this chart, so here we are trying to create this band. So we are saying if the ship mode is standard class or till here, 
we are saying look up for the previous value if the ship mode for the previous value of standard class as well then give me some of sales so this section step one will create first band from top till here same way we will create for the step two calculation and here I'm saying if attribute ship mode is second class and look up the ship mode previous value. If this is second class as well, then give me the sales. So from here till here, it will give me sum of sales for this band. And the same way we will create for step three and step four. So here we are using the first class and in step four, we are using same day. So once we create all these calculation, it's quite easy to create that. So what I will do, I will simply bring measure values to the row shelf, which is the column shelf, and all the measure values came here. I don't want all these ones, so I will select them and remove them. You will see something like this. Then I want to bring ship mode to the row shelf, and I want it in the descending order. And you will see the same bar chart, but with these four values of ship uh, sales, right? So in the previous step, previous version we were using some of sales here but now we have created these four calculation to create those bands everything else we will do the same so we will change the marks to area we have to make sure that all these measure values are computed using ship mode so once we select that you will notice that all these lines are converted into area so once we do that for all of them we will see our half of the funnel chart is created. So now let's let's change the view to the entire view and you can see it here. Now let's let's color each of these bands or you can say the stages in different process. In this case I will bring the ship mode to the colors mark and you will see different bands are created for ship mode. And now we can simply create a duplicate green color measure value pill by dragging and selecting these pill by command and control key once you do that you will see these two charts are created now i want to change the axis edit axis by simply going to edit axis and reversing the scale order you will see our funnel chart is created now i will simply bring the ship mode to the text mark and sales to the text mark as well to a bit of formatting and will change the sum of sales to percentage of total by going to quick table calculation and selecting percentage of total. Once we do that, we need to do a bit of alignment formatting by going to alignment section and changing the horizontal alignment to left and vertical to the bottom. And you will see all of these are created nicely. I don't want to create, I don't want to show any of these lines and the grid lines and stuff so i will go to lines and make sure all the grid lines are unselected and in the borders i want to make sure we are not using any columns or row dividers and we can still see the axis line in the middle so that's because of the zero lines so we don't want these ones so i will go to column and row and remove that one and also we can remove the axis on the left hand side by just right clicking on the axis and unselecting show header and same with the bottom one and you will see we have now created a funnel chart with different bands i hope you guys enjoyed this session if you have any questions please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section below and i will try to answer that as soon as possible and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel that yet please do so so you don't miss out on any new videos on my channel Thank you. See you next time. Bye.